What is the natural course of PAD? Natural course means a timeline of disease. That if the patient doesn't do anything to try and stop the disease or reverse the disease, and the patient's physician or the medical system doesn't do anything to intervene with medication or procedure, we just let the disease run its course, what would happen over time? So what is the natural course of PAD? It's a good question. So PA doesn't appear overnight. It's generally decades of risk factors accumulating and causing it. it starts in the teenage years or even in youth, eating sugar, eating processed carbohydrates, maybe starting smoking early, maybe in the teens. Slowly but surely, the arteries start getting damaged and the inside of the arteries start accumulating a little plaque and getting narrowed. It usually takes at least two decades of this. We occasionally do get patients in their early 40s or late 30s who have severe PAD. The arteries start blocking. So early in this course, teen years, 20s, 30s, it's not that severe, but it's developing. At this point in the natural course, it could be reversed by lifestyle modifications. What do I mean? Number one, eliminate processed foods, especially sugar and processed carbohydrates. Eat natural, quote unquote, paleo foods like your ancestors did. Eat meat, eggs, vegetables, limited occasional fruit. If you do that in these early years, oftentimes you can reverse the course of PAD entirely. When you get past that, 40s, 50s, 60s, then the disease gets pretty bad and the arteries get more blocked, okay? At that point, it's, it's too far along for those lifestyle modifications to reverse it. You still should do the lifestyle, modi lifestyle modifications, right? Eat natural foods, avoid processed foods, stop smoking, and be active. Sure, for sure. That's good across any age, for any disease, for anybody. Good advice. But the disease is already past the stage to reverse it. At this point, the arteries are occluded, but they're not that bad. That's where we come in. That's where we can do our minimally invasive procedure through a small hole in the groin, about the size of a pencil. One small hole, no general anesthesia, no tube down the throat, minimal sedation. Go home the same day. We can often open up those arteries and restore blood flow. It's an excellent procedure. It's highly effective to restore blood flow. It's safe, it doesn't hurt, and it will prevent the worsening of disease and tissue damage. Now, so that's the second stage of the natural course. The third stage, if you get beyond this and now your arteries are badly blocked, just clogged, we can't do our procedure anymore. It's beyond what we can do to help you. At this point, you're gonna need an open surgical bypass. You need to ask your surgeon to graft one of your veins in your body and use that to bypass, that's what's called a bypass, that clogged off portion of your leg arteries. It's a much more invasive surgery. Now, if you're at that stage, by all means, I've asked your surgery, Collins, colleagues do good work, and that's what you need. The fourth and final stage, if still nothing's done, the natural course will progress to irreversible tissue damage. That means your skin, your muscles, and your toes, ankles, legs, they're so damaged because they have not had arterial blood flow for so long that the tissue starts dying. Purple toes, black toes. At that point, unfortunately, it's too late. The tissue's dead. Amputation is needed. Toes, ankles, legs below the knee, above the knee. That's unfortunate and devastating. We do not want any patients to get to this point. The overwhelming majority of patients in that first stage, lifestyle modification or second stage, where we can do our minimally invasive procedure and open up the arteries, the patients can be helped here. Please help us raise awareness. Wounds and or leg pain, those are telltale signs of PAD. Refer them to us. We'd love to evaluate those patients or go see someone else who treats PAD like we do. Don't let the disease get in these worst stages where you need open surgical bypass or amputation.